Hey Explorers, it's Kitted Explorer here today. Today I was originally going to talk about via tour travel and give like an overview via the computer and for some reason the file won't save. So I don't know what's happening. Save that for another week. So today I'm going to talk to you about a program that I use to help me learn how to speak a different language. Obviously, I'm not fluent in another language um, besides English yet. What I use is Pemsler, um, and I'll put a link below. You can download the audiobooks, but it's cheaper to actually just get the subscription because you're supposed to practice the language every day for 30 minutes. Um, and that's how each of their classes are structured. And they say if you get at least 80% of the course correct, you should move on to the next. Um, so it's very conversational. They're teaching you vocabs, but helping you structure a sentence along the way. Um, so I'm currently using Pemsler for French and Spanish. Um, I actually have um, a downloaded version for Spanish for, I think, three or four phases um, that someone gave me as a gift. But the French lessons I have to pay the subscription for. So it's definitely a wonderful app and I'm going to give you a brief introduction into um, the French course, um, lesson one. All um, right. So here is the Pemsler app and it is loading. So when you first um, download the app, you can go to this library and you can select which languages you want to look at and each language has a free lesson just one free lesson um, but you can see all the different languages they have here so yeah here's all the languages but I'm gonna go back because I'm already learning French. Um, and so these are, this is my purchase course. I'm gonna start learning. And it's loading. Um, so I'm currently, I don't know why it's been bouncing back to lesson 16, but I'm currently on lesson 20. And I do each lesson several times. <laughs> because French is very different from Spanish and English. So, but here's lesson one. When you click on it, um, you hit play and it will start the lesson and it has the timer here so you can know how long the lesson will be. And it usually takes a few minutes for, well, a few minutes, a few seconds to start. And that's the introduction. So usually it starts off by doing a conversation. Um, and obviously lesson one is not a conversation of anything you've learned in the past, but usually um, in the future lessons, it will give you an introduction of maybe one or two new words, but it usually like reviews of what you've learned before. So yes, and so then you have um, flashcards, you have a quiz round, you have uh, where you can learn how to just work on your pronunciation and in a speed round. So that helps you like with seeing the actual phrases. So if you go to French uh, flashcards, you want to practice French to English or English to French. You have that available. Um, and then quick match. Um, you can match like, okay, the phrase is saying, I don't understand. And then you'll click on the right answer and you can keep doing that um, and it'll tell you if you're right or wrong. And you can actually click this to hear what it's saying in French and how to pronounce it. So we'll just close that. Here's a speak easy round, kind of just helping you go over the phrases. So you learn these phrases during the lesson, but now you can actually go back. You can see it actually written here in connect it with the pronunciation. And then a speed round. I'm not gonna do that, but <laughs> it's definitely uh, interesting. Um, and then you also have a driving view, so you have big buttons and everything for when you're driving. And you can go back once you're finished, it'll check off. But here, 
you can even download this you know if you're going to be offline you can download the, the courses here as well and then you can keep going through going through going through going through and you'll see like i'm on lesson 20 and um they have reading available once you get past i think a lesson or two um so you it's helping you practice your alphabet and actually again seeing the words with the pronunciation which is very important so this is pimsler so i hope you like that brief introduction to pimsler and i hope you give it a try or any other program that you may find out there um, to help you learn the language if you are just traveling somewhere for a vacation you don't really want to learn the language i definitely suggest learning a few common um, phrases you can do this by just doing a google search you can search your phrases within google translate or you can download duolingo which you can start off with just some quick vocab lessons um, because it's always respectful to be courteous in that culture when trying to order something or get directions or whatever they may not even speak your language so other than that thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please make sure you hit the like button also leave down in the comments have you tried pimsleur what language software do you use i would love to hear about it in the comment section and if you have any questions about pimsleur and how um, i use it you can leave those in the comment section as well um, make sure you share this video with your friends family and your social media networks because you never know who may need this um, video to learn more about different um, language programs. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and that notification bell so you can stay tuned and be notified for next week's video. Videos come out every Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much again. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are.